Welcome to Tech Tip Tuesday here at the U of How To. I am Charbel and I'm going to be working on a Windows 10 PC today. Uh, and just know that uh, any of the features that you see here today, you do have similar features on a Mac if you are working on a Mac. Okay, so you'll just be using a command key instead of the Windows key and so the shortcuts are a little bit different but you can essentially get the same effect so if you like this video click that like button consider subscribing if you do click on that bell so you receive notifications anytime I post a new video let's get to it so Let's say we are presenting our screen in Google Meet or we're screencasting, uh, maybe using Screencastify for example, and we want to zoom in on a portion of the screen for our viewers to get a closer look of what we're doing. So many screen recorders have uh, editors that will allow you to zoom in and zoom out. Screencastify and I think Loom as well, they don't really have that exact feature. You have to kind of work around if you want to have a similar effect and uh, I plan on actually making a video with Screencastify showing how you can edit in Screencastify to, to have some similar effects but if you're working on the fly and you want to zoom in and zoom out and you know that you want to do that right on the spot uh, Windows 10 has some very easy keys to work with okay so really all you need to do is hit Windows hold on to Windows and press the plus and what you'll see is this magnifier opens up Okay, so this magnifier app, you can actually go into your search or into your windows and, and find the magnifier app, but the shortcut Windows Plus automatically opens it up. And uh, when you're done with it, I can say now you can use Window Escape and it closes it. Okay, so Windows Plus opens it, Windows Escape would close it. Okay, and so we have three view options full screen lens and dock and there's shortcuts here so that you can have this little window minimized and not have to have it as part of your screen while you're um, presenting your screen okay so if you don't remember the shortcuts it's fine you just open up the window and click on the one that you want so i recommend full screen and i'll explain why uh, in just a bit but let's start with docked okay so if you want to dock what that does is at the top Okay, that will follow my cursor around and it just stays stuck docked at the top of this of my screen okay and so in my settings I have set this so that my zoom will increase by 50% each time so if I hit Windows plus it went up to 150% okay so I zoomed in a bit and so as I move around you can see at the top of the screen it's zoomed in Windows Plus again would zoom in another 50% to 200 Windows minus and Windows minus will zoom out and now we're back at 100% okay and now again this works if I minimize this if you don't want to use the shortcuts you, know, you can leave this off to the side and pressing plus will zoom in and pressing the minus will zoom out okay so that's docking the lens zoom feature here basically just creates a little window right around your cursor and follows it around and when you want to zoom in on something around your cursor let's say we're going to going to a website and i want you to get a closer look at what i'm typing i can hit windows plus now and you can see i'm a little bit closer maybe even windows plus again and while i'm doing this i want to recommend slides mania if you use PowerPoint or Google Slides, a ton of free templates. Okay, they actually have the one that I have opened up. Okay, so let me get out of this lens feature. So, okay, and I'll go to full screen. So, okay, full screen with 100% is just like your regular screen. Okay, and I kind of leave it in the background. This is why I prefer full screen. I kind of just leave it in the background, and when I want to zoom in, Windows Plus will zoom in, Windows Minus will zoom back out, okay? And so Slides Mania, they, you can see just a ton of free templates. I chose this one, okay? This is a weekly planner and it's basically set up for you to use as a hyperdoc, okay? And so let's say I wanted to, to zoom in. Now I'm on full screen, I can hit Windows Plus 
And I can zoom in wherever I want and it follows my cursor around, okay, around the screen. And let's say I'm up here and I'm zoomed in and I want to zoom out temporarily and zoom back in somewhere else on the screen. Okay, without having to hit minus, Windows minus and zoom out and then move. Or without having to have this zoomed in feature the whole time. I can actually hit Control Alt Spacebar and move my cursor. But as long as my mouse is moving, it will not zoom back in until I get to the spot where I want to zoom back in and then I stop moving my mouse and it zooms back in. Control Alt Spacebar, zooms out, I move around to where I want, say I want to zoom in down here, and it zooms back in. And if I'm done with it, Windows Minus, it'll take me back to 100%. You can keep going minus, 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 it'll stop at 100%. You can't minimize your screen, but you can zoom in. And when you're done with it, Windows Escape, or you just go down to the window and close it. So, I hope you enjoy that video. Let me know if you think you'll use this. Uh, how you're going to use it, whether it's you know to screencast or Google Meet or just for your own personal use, you know to, to see things better. Uh, let me know in the comments down below uh, how you liked it, if it worked, if it didn't work. If you have questions, problems, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.